hello guys hello everybody how are you guys doing today hope everyone is doing good today i'm back with another video but before we enter what we are about to teach today if today is your first time you are coming across my video please do me a favor subscribe to my youtube channel because you are going to benefit a lot in this youtube channel in this YouTube channel, I talk about things you have around you, your local market, what you can use them to do. So many, I talk about spiritual things in this YouTube channel. Things you can do to favor yourself, things you can do to remove evil eyes away from your body, things you can do to return back to sender, things you can do to boom your business. That is most of the things I talk about in this YouTube channel. So if today is your first time you come across my video in any social media platform, please go straight to my YouTube channel, Tessy Home of Natural Remedy. Subscribe to my YouTube channel because you are going to benefit a lot. All my old subscribers, thank you guys. I've been getting so many messages on my phone. I want to order your product, but I don't have enough money. Mommy, please teach me what I can do. Teach me something that I can do. So I'm just tired of complaining. So today I decide to bring what you can do because I have a lot of video on my YouTube channel here, but I'm bringing another different one. Before I have favor soap here, I have business booming on this my channel, but this one is special. Go ahead. Do it just exactly the way I will explain it now because I know you will come back for a great testimony, okay? So if you know your business is not growing or maybe you go to shop in the morning, you come back in the evening, you will not sell. Nothing is going on. Your business is going down. Nothing is moving on. This video is for you. Please share it to all your family share it to all your friends also allow them to benefit from this video okay guys so let's go straight to the point we are going to be needing some things that you have around you things you can easily to find around you okay guys so our first ingredients we need one coconut just like this okay just one pieces of coconut. We need one pieces of coconut, okay? So our second item, we need a candle. One stick of candle. Our third item, we need a white container. I don't know what you call it, a white bowl or a white container. Our fourth ingredient, we need a pinch of sand from the market. When you go to the market, just do like you want to scratch your leg pick a pinch of sand from the market you can pick a pinch of sand from the front of bank or the front of police station these three places is a very busy places the front of bank front of police station front of market okay so anyone that you can get out of these three it is okay so if you get the three two it's your luck but anyone you can get it is okay so i will advise you to take it from the market because market everybody go to the market especially any market that you know is very very busy the market you know is very very busy yes get a picture of sand there okay so after that in your front of your business where you are selling where you are doing your business where you are doing your business or if you are working in the office you need fever you want promotion that front of your office get a pinch of sand too if you are selling you have a shop you have a business is not moving get a pinch of the sand from there bring it home so the the highest ingredients is this i don't have it here but i'll be putting the picture here is a leaf you can find on the pantry like coconut pantry or pancane pantry these two places is where you can find this leaf that is the number one ingredients if you don't have that please do not look for the rest make sure you have that one first before you can get the rest things okay so it is very very easy to find anywhere you see any pantry 
or any coconut tree look it very well you will see the leaf i'll be dropping the picture here okay i don't have it here so you see the leaf just speak to the leaf if you can pluck it by yourself speak oh i know god almighty created you for a reason i want to take just a little to prepare a favor soap for myself it's not for selling i'm not doing it for anybody for myself and for myself alone so you take it if you want someone to pluck it for you speak to it too talk to the leaf please i want to send this person to help me pluck you i want to use you to prepare a favor soap for myself for myself and for myself alone please don't say you are looking for money you want to go and do it for sale my hand is not there please my hand is not there and second if you are a woman you are seeing your flower that time do not pluck the leaf also do not prepare the soap that particular time is what every woman used to see every month allow your flower to go before you go and pluck the leaf okay and when you are bathing the soap you discover that your flower is out keep it down allow your flower to go before you start bathing it again okay and this soap is not for only woman it's for everybody if a man woman pastor native daughter pagan mala any religion that you serve okay just do it to boom your business there is no side effect there is nothing that will happen to you later no 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 that is the reason you have to take excuse from the leaf and please do not do it for sale okay so just get the one that you know it will be okay for you so when you get home what you need to do get a mortar don't use blender or don't use stone no if you are my member in this youtube channel you're supposed to have a mother in your house because most of the things i bring out is what our great great grandparents have been doing our ancestors is what they have been using that is most of the things i'm bringing out so you need a little mother in your house so that you don't miss anything so that you not say, oh, what a Tessie home of natural remedy brought that is not working for me. No, you need a mortar in your house. Okay, so when you have it, what you need to do is this. Get the leaf. Please, you can do it in the night or early in the morning when you wake up. Don't talk to anybody. Don't do it for your husband. Don't do it for your children. Do it for yourself. You can tell somebody. Or send my video to the person to watch it so that you will do it by yourself don't do it for somebody please okay so when you wake up in the morning or in the night choose the time you know that nobody will disturb you if it's afternoon maybe your children they are gone to the school anytime you know that you you are alone that is the time you need to do it all right especially this rainy season is everywhere most of the pan tree most of the coconut tree uh, the pakane tree the leaf is there especially this period do not get the dry one you need the fresh one the fresh one okay speak to the leaf and pluck it bring it to your house so if you want to prepare it please listen very well get your mortar put the leaf the one you know it will be okay for you that is the one you pluck the one you know is enough for you. Don't bring it and come and use it. Go and throw the rest away. No. So if that would be the case, pluck a little one so that you can finish it. All right? So when you bring it, put it inside your mortar. Be pounding it and begin to speak to it. Speak to the leaf. I want you to do my business. I want you to open way for me. I want you to bless me. Begin to be pounding it and begin to make all your prayers. That is the reason you don't need to talk to people when you are doing it. You are talking to the leaf. Because it's God Almighty that created the leaf. You are, you are talking to him what you want. So that is the reason you don't need people around you when you are doing it. Okay? So when you are pounding it, when the leaf is smooth, eh, get a black soap. And I know everybody knows what is black soap. Africa black soap, Ghana soap, or Nigeria soap. Anyone black soap. Okay? Black soap. Okay? So just add it to it. The one you know will be okay for you. The one you know that 
the leave will not over. The one you know that it will be okay for you. That is the one you need. Hard the soap and begin to, you know, pan it. When it's smooth, get your coconut, break it anyhow you want to break it. If you want to choke it or you want to break it anyhow, pour the water all into the soap that you are panning. Do not eat the coconut. Don't give it to your children. Throw it away. All right? Throw it away inside the bush where animals can eat it. All right? So, pan the soap. When you pan it, you see that the soap and the leaf, they mix together. The sand that you pick from market or front of police station or in the bank, add it to it. The one you pick from your store or front of your office, add it to it. Pan everything together. Make sure that everything smooth and everything is mixed together. So when it's mixed together, get a white bowl like this or a white container. Okay. So put your soap inside. All right. Put your soap inside. So after that, get a white candle. Okay. So when you get a white candle, place your container on the floor. Let's assume this is on the floor. So let your white candle place it here in the front of the container. All right, in the front of the container, begin to speak into the soap what you want the soap to do for you, how you want the soap to favor you, how you want the soap to bless you. Begin to speak when you are done with that. Look at me, do like this three times, meaning put your saliva or your spit three times. Don't cover the soap instantly, okay? Add the soap to be there. Make all your prayer. Let the candle burn down. You must not sit with it before the candle burn down. No, when you have done with your prayer, you have put your saliva three times. Just leave it there. Allow the candle to burn down. After that, after the candle is down, get your cover. Cover your soap. Go and keep it in a safe place inside your room or anywhere. Get a new sponge. Don't use your old sponge. Get a new sponge. So when you are going to the bedroom, carry your soap. If it's public bedroom, like bedroom that everybody is using, just cut the one you think it will be okay for you. Go to your bathroom. Take your shower. When you are bathing, be praying what you want. How you want the day to bless you. How you want the universe to bless you. How you want the gods to bless you. Make all your prayer. Continue using the soap. There is no forbidding apart from when you are seeing your flower, don't touch it, don't use it. Apart from that, any other thing do not exist. So that is it. And also, if you want to order my product, I have favor soap, back to sender, cleansy soap, cause breaking, divine grace perfume, love me alone, and garasha must come back. I have so many products. Okay, so I will see you all in my next video. Also, I will see you guys on my WhatsApp. I'm gonna make it.